Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to be making this low carb chicken pot pie, but instead of a traditional crust on top, we are gonna be using low carb cheddar biscuits. It is going to be delicious. You can find this recipe on my blog, jenniferbands.com. Just search for chicken pot pie. So for this um, chicken pot pie, this keto version of chicken pot pie, I've got some celery and some onions and some shredded carrot in um, cooking in some butter and some avocado oil. And they're just about uh, nice and soft. So I'm gonna add in the chicken, and this is three chicken breasts that we've cubed into one inch pieces. So for this chicken pot pie, instead of like a traditional crust on top, we're going to use my cheddar biscuit recipe. And it is going to be so delicious. So we're gonna cook this chicken all the way through. First, I'm gonna add some, ooh, some salt and pepper. And I had already added a little bit of salt and pepper to the vegetables, so, but we need a little bit more for our chicken. So now we just need to let these cook through. Okay, while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cheddar biscuit topping that's going to go on top. So I've got some eggs in here that I'm just mixing up. And then I'm gonna add in our almond flour. And this is a, this biscuit recipe is super simple. You just throw everything into your bowl and then it's done. So much easier than traditional biscuits made with flour. So then we've got some melted butter here. And some baking powder. And some garlic powder. So now we just need to mix it all up. Okay, I think that looks just about all mixed. And we can just set this aside. And I'm gonna use this scooper to scoop it on top of our chicken mixture whenever it is ready. Okay, so our chicken is almost cooked through. And you know, you could use um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs for this recipe as well. Um, you can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. It would work for both. So that chicken's almost cooked. So I'm gonna add in some chicken broth. This is one cup of chicken broth. And I'm gonna add in a cup of heavy cream. Just eyeball it. Also going to add in some xanthan gum, my favorite ingredient. And that's gonna help thicken this to make it perfect chicken pot pie consistency. Oh! <laughs> I've got a fan on and it blew all over me. Most of it got in there. Okay, so we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. So the xanthan gum will thicken our sauce. So this is almost thickened and I'm going to taste just to make sure it doesn't need any more seasoning. It's perfect. Mm, that is delicious, ooh. I'm excited about this recipe. This is going to continue to thicken even more in the oven. 
So I am going to go ahead and put the biscuits on top. Okay, so I'm going to get this, I don't know, this is about a two or three tablespoon scoop and this is what I like to use for my biscuits. So I'm just gonna scoop them on top just like this and then I'll flatten them out a little bit This is going to be so good. Get one more in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let's see if we can kind of smush these down a little bit. Perfect. That is going to work perfectly. All right, we are gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven. So here is our chicken pot pie with the cheesy biscuits. We cooked it in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. That's all it took. So now we can serve some up and it is so thick and creamy. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Scoot this over here and get a good shot of this deliciousness. And get a bite. Those biscuits are perfect. And all of the chicken and veggies. Mmm. That is so good. Okay guys, I hope you like this easy chicken pot pie recipe. You can find the recipe, of course, on my blog, jenniferbands.com. You can just search for chicken recipe or chicken pot pie or even biscuits. Uh, but we will see you guys later. Bye.